Hello everyone, so in this video let us talk about base 7 problem from lead code. The problem is very simple that you are given an integer num. You just have to return a string of the particular number in base 7 representation. Now, uh, if you know how to represent in binary form or any particular form, it's very simple. What you'll do is that if you want to convert a number to a particular base format, you just keep on dividing that number per for, from that particular number. So if you want, let's say base 7, keep on dividing that particular number with 7. And whatever remainder is that, that number keep on depending that. Okay. And then keep on dividing that number with 7 until it becomes 0. And that's it. Whatever numbers you have got throughout this whole process is just the representation in base 7 format. Uh, in, in negative form, just remove out the negative part and then again just convert it to the base 7 and just, and just append negative sign. That's the overall logic for this particular problem. Let us take one small example. Let us say 100. And let us understand all of that. So what we'll do is that let's say we take 100. Now what you'll do is that you'll divide it by 7. Let us take a small number because I have to do this a lot of division. But let's say if a is the, the closest with 7 is so 7 goes with 7 1 is 7 3 is that yeah, 7 28. So the first remain so as you can see that it's it goes with 14 times but a remainder of 2. So first you'll take 2 and then the remainder is 14. So now you'll come from 10 to 14 and the remainder is 2. Now again divide 14 by 7 and what is the remainder? It's 0. Okay. And then what is the dividend? Like what is the one that is on the top? That is 2. So now 2 divided by 7. The remainder is 2 again. And the top part is this number. Uh, is zero so when it when it becomes zero then whatever the part that you have as the remainder is the actual representation but you, it should be reversed okay because two, 202 is same but it should be reversed the answer is 200 okay that's the whole thing that you have to do is that i hope you understand the logic part but you have to reverse the order actually also in the end okay so the order should be 202 but it should be from the back to front that's the whole thing so let us talk about the code part now. It's pretty simple. I, I hope you understand all of that now. So we have nums of zero. If the number is zero, then the answer is obviously zero. Uh, nothing much we have to do about it. So we have to find out the answer. We just have to check out first that whether the number is negative or not. If, if it is negative, just do that it is a negative number and just make your number as positive. Okay. So that in the end, I will append a negative sign. You don't have to do anything while the process of dividing. Okay. Don't want, I don't want negative sign in there. So what you can do is that you can just first check out that whether the number you have, it can be negative also. If it is negative, just show that it is a negative number and just make the number positive so that you have a stored somewhere that it is negative number. Now what I'm doing is that I'm using a while loop until it is not zero. If it becomes zero, it will break out of this while loop. What I'll do is that I will find out a mod. Okay. So mod is num mod seven. When I do this, I will get the remainder of that particular number demoted by 7. I will get the remainder. So I will add that particular remainder in answer and then divide the particular number by 7 and keep on doing that until it becomes become 0. Uh, after that, what we'll do is that we have the numbers. Now I will insert that if it is a, it was a negative number, then I will push the negative sign here as well. In the end, I'll just reverse out the whole number because I just want that which I've told you. The answer is that if you have also found binary numbers also, the remainders you get from top to bottom, but the answer is printed in from bottom to top manner, which is like reverse. So in the same manner, whatever remainders you have got, you have added from top to front, but you have to print it from back to front. So you just reverse out all the uh, numbers or modular signs stored in the answer uh, string and then just print out answer. So that's it. Uh, nothing much complicated here as well also. You just keep on doing that. So it's just an exponential time of problem because you keep on dividing it by seven. And that's it. That's the logic and the code part for this particular problem as well. If you still have any doubts, you can mention it in the context of this particular problem. Thank you for watching the video till the end. I will see you in a coding and bye.